Hey everyone, this is Rav Nathan over here. I just finished learning with a very beautiful young couple who are not married yet, they're dating. And they came to me a few months ago and said, we really want to learn the Bible together. We really want to learn Torah together to strengthen in our faith and uh, give a good basis to our relationship. So we were learning something now that I wanted to share with you. In Genesis, in Breshit chapter 3 verse 9, uh, after Adam and Eve have sinned with the tree, it says that God is, you know, going through the garden and he calls out to them, Ayeka, where are you? He asks them where they are. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Does God really need to ask Adam and Eve where they are? Does God not know where they are? Of course he knows where they are. So why is it that he's calling out to them? So the commentators tell us a beautiful, beautiful thing that I'm going to transfer into a, a point on relationships. The, communi the communicators, the, <laughs> the commentators tell us that God is calling out to Adam and Eve in order to not scare them, in order to not creep up on them. They know that they've done something wrong. They're self-conscious right now. And God, in his wisdom and his understanding and his chesed, his kindness, is not going to pounce on them and say, Hey, there you are. You've just sinned and now I'm going to punish you. He says, calls out softly. Where are you? Ayeka. There's another deep point in this, apart from respect for Adam and Eve and not creeping up on them and showing kindness to a person who is in a difficult place. And that is when we as spouses, as partners, spouses, I think that's the word, we as partners have a disagreement or, or have done something wrong by the other person, we're upset with each other. Very often, one side wants to deal with it right now. I made the mistake, or you made the mistake, let's deal with it right now. Get this over and done with so we can get on with life. And very often, the other partner needs their space and says, no, I need to think about this. I need to pray through this. I need to work out what happened for me before I can deal with it with you. I'm going to shout out there. How many of us say, Ayeka, where are you? How many of us take into consideration where the other person is before we deal with what we want to deal with? When our husband or our wife comes in from work in a day, before we throw at them, the kids were this, the finances are this, we've got to deal with this, or even worse, we don't even talk to them. How often do we say, how was your day? You look a little bit down. What are you dealing with? You look happy. Can you tell me about that? Ayeka, where are you? Where are you today? Ask your spouse, ask your children, where are they? Be interested. Try and understand your kids. Try and understand your spouse. Rather than just trying to make them happy, the thing that makes one happiest is to be understood. The best way to get there is to ask questions. Where are you? How are you feeling? How do you want to deal with this issue? That's showing respect and real love for our partners, for our children and the people around us. God bless.